guys, it's day one in the studio. We're working on our new EP, Better. It's gonna be better than anything we've ever heard. We're working on Better. 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 It's gonna be so fun. Better. For this EP, we really wanted a new sound and we wanted to um, have our music be a little bit more complex and just well produced. And we had worked with Jesse Barrera before on our last EP and we really loved what he did. And he is so talented, so we basically begged him to please do some more music with us. And um, he did a wonderful job and that's what you get. Better we chose as the first track on the EP because it kind of sums up us pushing ourselves in a new direction musically. I actually wrote the chorus about a year ago after Hunter Hayes' concert. I was just inspired to write after that, and so I tried writing this song, and it just didn't ever finish, and so I just sat on it for a while, and it was really cool to be able to bring the sisters together, and all three of us wrote, um, or finished the song. This is the main room. <laughs> it's actually really cool, because he's got, like, this camera action thing set up, so we don't even have to be in the same room as the booth. It's pretty, it's pretty awesome. awesome. And here we have... Here we have the, the vocal booth. Want to see inside? Come, come. Look how cool. Awesome. Better. It's better than our last song. It's better than our last EP. It's better than your Betty Botter's butter. <laughs> Look at You can see them. <gasps> it's Allie. You little weirdo. <laughs> hey, we can we can all see you. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, as I knock the ficus over. So I had heard Allie's idea for better. She'd written the chorus a long time ago, and I wrote a bridge separate. So I played it for them, and we decided we wanted to finish writing it together. So it's the only song that we wrote together, the three of us. The song it, it has a fun message too. It's technically about you know, maybe a guy wanting to take a break or break up with you and you're like, okay, but don't you realize that once you break up with me, you're not going to find anything better. So it's kind of like a empowering song, I guess, to girls. <laughs> it's really fun. I like the message of it. A lot of people discourage chewing gum when you sing, but I think we had a vocal coach yes. back in the day who told us yep. that he always chews gum because it helps keep his cords moist. <laughs> Mm. I don't think he used those words, but so I'm keep chewing gum. Joking. Yeah, I'm gonna chew gum so it helps keep it so it's not dry. It's really dry. We're, we're recording, so it'll be great. I don't even have water in here. It's a great outfit for recording in. <laughs> Swallow your pride. You play me every time, but I know you lot. I don't deserve this. I just feel like it's rough. That sounds rough. That is just not <laughs> up to par. <laughs> you don't have to film that. <laughs> no more second guessing. No more half goodbyes. I really love the production on Better. It's really different, really fun, kind of 80s. And we had a lot of fun messing around with harmonies and everything on that song. Mindy, you look good on TV. <laughs> oh, she do. I don't you know if you let go, you won't find better, better, you won't find better than me, no. With Better and a couple other songs on our EP, we had a lot of fun messing around with um, more vocal things besides like singing and harmonies. So we have some like chicky, -ch, you know, weird like. <coughs> You know, things like that in the recording, if you listen close, you can hear them. So we had a lot of fun doing that. We listened to a lot of 80s music and music from lots of other decades, so it was really fun to pull inspiration for the sounds in the song from artists like Michael Jackson. We listened to Richard Marks, Cyndi Lauper, really upbeat and fun and more electronic bass, which we hadn't done in our music before, so it was super fun to experiment with that kind of sound. The three of us, along with writing better, we also all three arranged better together, and that was really fun. We just sat in a room and we messed around and just took each other's ideas and tried to make it 
feel really 80s with some syncopated rhythms and uh, repetitive lines and everything like that. Even with the harmonies, we tried to mimic some of the old 80s girl groups and kind of channel our inner 80s diva. So we had a lot of fun arranging the parts for that song because we got to kind of make them a little more different, more punchy than we'd done before. Not so pretty. It's still pretty, but it's better. It turned out really fun and I would listen to it, so you should listen to it. <laughs> I'd buy it. <laughs>